you um, uh, balance the fact that there are so many divergent type pro productions on Broadway nowadays? You've got Hamilton on one end of the spectrum. You've got Fran and my, I hope you don't mind my saying, lovely production, really good production of Waitress Great. telling a different story about uh, a, a woman coming into her own, becoming empowered, living through uh, the kind of society we all understand today. Uh, and, and then you've got other stuff that's, I'm, I'm not going to name other productions, that are flimsy and flippant. And how is it that all of this can live on Broadway? Are there different audiences for these things? Well, you may disagree with me with this, but um, I think if, if when a show comes in that's, you use the word, a little flimsy and that's not well crafted, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I exploitive. I don't think they last. I, I really don't think they last. I mean, you and I know we could go down this season and go through all the shows that have not done well. Yeah. There are many, because that's true every year. Every year, 90% don't recoup. Um, and I think that. Um, the diversity is there because there's a great di di diverse audience out there who wants to see different types of musical. Most shows are populated uh, in terms of audience by tourists, as we know. 66% mm -hmm. come from domestic tourism and, and foreign tourism. So those people really are going to want, to a large extent, um, well-known <coughs> commodities, either the big star or the best Best musical or the longest running show, like <laughs> Chicago, you know, the longest running revival because they know it from the movie as well as just the fact that it's run so long. They want known commodities. And quite frankly, for those people when they come into town, I ran the TKTS booth because I was president, as you know, chairman of TDF, yes, with I the Southwest Half Price Ticket Office, and the treasures there would tell me. People come up from out of town and they say, well, what should we see? What star is in the show, and which musical won best musical, and which show has the, the most dancing? I mean, yep. I'm not criticizing this, but that is the kind of entertainment that Broadway has become to a large extent. Yes. And the hardcore audience, what I call the real inveterate theater goers in New York, who go to straight plays mostly, dramas, the Unfortunate fact is they're fewer and fewer. They are, and a lot of all this has to do with ticket prices. Um, so I think if your show is not well crafted, I think if your show is one that tries to um, to uh, capitalize on, I might call them cheap tricks, which, which is based on things that no one really cares about. It's not well thought through. It doesn't belong on Broadway. You and I know when we see a show, we can look at it and say, that show unfortunately should have never have been put on Broadway. And they fail. So I think the only shows that really succeed are the, the really well-crafted ones, and the ones that are received well, um, and hopefully find an audience through word of mouth. Yeah.